Are you looking for a new career opportunity? Are you interested in real estate? Uh, do you have any sales skill at all? We would love to talk with you for our CEO assistant uh, position to help me grow the business that we've been developing for almost 10 years now. We've got an opportunity to really explode with growth here um, and would love for anybody that's looking for a career change that has any sales ability at all to come join us. So give me a call, 540-818-5383, and let's bring you in for an interview. What we're doing today is we gotta go move some signs around and some lock boxes around uh, to, from, a, from a property we've sold to a property that we've just listed, and we gotta pick up a key from a client. Um, and we're headed down to Shawsville to do all this today, so that's gonna be the next little bit of our, our show here. We're about to start showing the property on a regular basis. Um, so that's what we're doing. So we want to dominate Roanoke Street. If you're in the market for a home under $100,000 in Montgomery County, this is a must see. All right, today we are getting ready to watch a program that Bomb Bomb and Curator is putting on called Pitch Fest. This morning, I've already been out to show property. I got an offer to draft up. I got a couple of deals I'm handling. I'm handling some home inspection and some appraisal items. Uh, that's a very challenging part of the deal. Um, we got one appraiser giving us like seven items that need to be repaired on, on a house. Um, so that's kind of stressful with uh, the seller having to do more than what they've already agreed to do with the home inspection repairs. Um, so we're dealing with all that. Been on the phone with a lender today because of a double wide. Uh, in double wide situations, lenders want to make sure that the title has been surrendered to the DMV. So I'm in the process of getting all that worked out and I've been on the phone for about 30 minutes with Wells Fargo to try to get them to supply us the, the, the proper documentation so the new buyer can get a loan. So that's, that's been the day and, that, and the day moving forward, we've got some properties to show and some just other basic activities uh, that we tend to do every day. Jared James is gonna crush this competition. But here's what I want the people watching to remember. Callie actually goes on four to six appointments a day, every day. How many do you go on? And, and that, you know what I mean, Steve? Like, the, 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 and she's also the number one agent in her market. Mm -hmm. So what we took from Kyle Whistle with like knowing how far the commute's going to be to work, like everything that he kind of brought to the table, I thought was valuable for us as we try to present uh, you know, buyer needs and listings and, and things like that. I think there was some good takeaways from that stuff that was presented. What we did like 75 deals last year to 150 deals. I think this could be the deciding factor in getting there. You know? So you wanna go from 75 deals to 150 deals this year? Well, I mean, in the next 18 months, we need to be on our way there. So the only problem that we're gonna maybe run into with this whole feature video or feature live video scenario is that after we hype it, after we get out there and we, we've, we've chosen our product that we're gonna feature, right? Then somebody comes in before that we, we can actually get out there to, to do the live feature and it, and it gets on the contract. Hey guys, we're out here at 235 Jones Street today. This will be our feature listing on Friday. If you don't come out to check this out by the weekend, the likelihood of this being sold is very high, so you're gonna miss out. Please, come check this out before you can. Okay, we're testing over here at uh, 235 Jones Street in Christiansburg. Grant Cardone, you know, he's supposed to be some master sales trainer, so we're trying to, we're trying to get his content and trying to get inspired, and we like the whole be obsessed or be average um, so we're trying to be a little bit more obsessed with everything that we want to be in our life. So that's, that's what we're listening to today. Here's the, here, here's, here's the only fear I have. Okay. The fear that I have of waiting 
with with the marketing that I do and the push that I give is we got a lot of steam the first 30 days okay we have a lot of steam and you know people just want to see the surroundings and things like that I mean I know what your concerns are and trust me I, I totally get it but we need we definitely but we cannot let April get away from us without getting that stuff and getting you to the market before you know before the end of that you know with just a flyover and you know what I showed you at the house you know we just need it we just need to give people the the above you know like a hundred feet above your property perspective it doesn't it really won't make a difference if the trees are blooming at that point they just we just need to show them the surrounding area that they're going to be in at that vantage point okay and, and nothing nothing and nothing is ever perfect right because like i said the first 30 days are, are so important because that's when all the attention's on you that's when everybody's looking at you and evaluating you and then after the 30 day mark unless we make some different changes you know um and you know we could we could i mean the up the marketing level but we just have that 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 45 day window when we have the most attention that we're possibly ever going to get when we list the property. What we don't want to do is let the spring market get away from us. We don't want to just sit there. We don't want to just sit there and watch these buyers that are very interested in buying right now lose the opportunity to get. I mean, rates. You, you know, you're seeing interest rates probably going up. You know, you're hearing about this in the news and everything. Um, so we don't want we don't want people that are are going to use financing to possibly buy your house. To then not be able to qualify, so we want it. We want it. Timing, timing is the biggest, the biggest thing here. You know, timing beats speed, and speed beats power. So timing is everything. Okay, timing is the, the, the most important thing of this situation. With every with everything you've told me, with the ability to make some adjustments after we discover the truth, I think I think we're going to be able to get results. I think we can get you above that number that that you have to have you know to net out of there with the money you want i don't think that's going to be a problem i don't think that's going to be a problem so you know you're going to get somebody that's very eager and hungry to produce for you and with with the with the the, the buffer we have with where we're going to start to try to discover if it was a marketing issue from your last agent or if it was a price issue um we're going to discover that really quick so that's why I want our marketing to be super, super on point day one. That's what I want. So I think I can find I think I can find a guy and a, a couple that's similar to you that would that would be coming from maybe a, a city that wants to get away from it, that wants acreage, wants privacy, doesn't want anybody in their business. I think I can find that. I feel like I, I have I have the skill set and then the, the experience to handle that for you. I have no, I have no doubts that with with the ability we've got to get you the money that you want, starting where we're starting, knowing the strategies and tactics that I know, we're not going to have any problems, you know. And if we do, we're going to know, we're going to know pretty quickly. We're going to know quicker than a year later. Uh, I can guarantee you that. So we just showed Sally. A little home here in Pulaski. My opinion of the property wasn't like that was going to be the one for her, and uh, that's tough sometimes, you know. And you could almost feel her excitement of, "Oh man, this might be something I'd consider." But I just had to tell her. I had to get. I had to give her the truth. Like we, we want to be in the business of finding the truth and discovering. And I felt like that was going to be a. I think that was going to be a tough one, long term. So I was pretty much selling them out of it instead of into it. I run the gambit on who comes into my office and what we talk about. And I'm going to be bringing you the offers, you know, and I do a lot of residential real estate, you know, I'm pursuing more farms and I'm pursuing more land and all of that's different. I mean, and uh, so the 10% fee is really a fair compensation for what we know to be the job that we're about to get into. I don't know if you can feel it, but I'm excited to get started for you.